So we decided to take a little tr quick trip out to the beach today. Yes. Out here at Folly Beach. It's, it's uh, so beautiful. Yeah, it's uh, almost the middle of November and it's actually like a 75 degree day out here. It's uh, Charleston, out here in Charleston, South Carolina. But it's a beautiful day at the beach. Check this shit out. The waves are pretty good. So there's a bunch of people out here riding waves. Or there were earlier. They started getting out of the water. But the tide is coming up pretty low. Or pretty high. I think the hurricane we had here a few weeks ago eroded the beach a little bit. But what's cool is all the way out there, you can see the moon. Which is pretty cool considering it's still kind of sunny out. It's 5.36. Yeah, it's 5.30 <laughs> right now. It's crazy. It's daylight savings, or daylight savings just ended, so, yeah. Cool. So we're out here taking some pictures, because why not? Look how great they turned out. Damn, you really are a photographer, baby. <laughs> You're a <the> photographer. <laughs> now let's get one more before the All light right. is gone. You gotta get one more. <laughs> okay, cool. Here's a little behind the scenes motion, guys. <laughs> I had it in the camera mode. That's how we do it. <laughs> but anyway, here's behind the scenes. Yes. We're taking some uh, sexy beachside photos because perfect look at that lighting. moon. Holy shit. Yeah, no, nah, this is like perfect lighting. All right, so we're going to take the picture Back to it again. We the sun. All right. So, yeah, we just decided to come out here to the beach of the day. Like I said, film some content. Um, and just to really have a few minutes to re reflect. It's been a busy week for both of us, and um, yeah, we've just been putting in a little bit of extra work, just trying to save a little bit extra, and um, and really set ourselves up. So, uh, a couple weeks ago, we made a video just on Instagram um, about how we were planning to move to uh, Austin, Austin, Texas. Um, so, it's a big move, cross country, so we're trying to save money for that. And uh, our plan really for the next year or two is just to really financially set ourselves up. Look at this moon back here, that's crazy. Look at that over there. Oh my that god, is that is so pretty. It looks like there's another moon, but it's just the uh, street light. light. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, we're just really trying to set ourselves up. You know, it's towards the end of, uh, we're filming this in November 2022. And, um, and you know, from what it's looking like, we could uh, be facing a recession going Soon. into 2023. Uh, the housing markets are already starting to go down. Uh, a lot of people are getting laid off jobs. Uh, the, the federal interest rate is up, you know, all that good stuff. Cars are getting repoed. Like, yeah, the car market is crashing. Insane. Yeah, the cost of groceries, like normally we spend 160 a week in groceries. Today we spent 210. Um, we did have to buy some extra things like we had to buy toilet paper paper towels like things like that are usually once a month type purchases I guess but it's still pricey but anyways we're but. not really too scared of, of no. how it's gonna affect us honestly from what we've been reading from what we've been learning on um, you know recessions are the time for smart people to get rich um, or at least not to get hurt by the recession <laughs> but we we have a plan and our plan is to really save up money, really get our credit into the 700s. And then, you know, towards the end of next year, once the housing prices, the housing market is like fully crashed and prices are low, really buy, try to get a great deal on uh, some type of foreclosed property or just any property for that matter that we can then rent out as an Airbnb property, uh, preferably in, in Austin where we're moving to. And, um, and then, give it like three to five years whenever the housing market gets back up again sell that house and pretty much triple our profit so you know unlike most newly married people who just go buy a house for themselves which we would love and we will do one day yes. um but we're more focused on trying to make sure that we're really set up the right way and um so by buying a house renting it out on airbnb we're making pretty consistent income off that and we're just waiting we're earning income on the property and biding our time and within three to five years that single property could potentially double in its value um you know and then we can at that point say we get a two hundred thousand dollar house we can flip it for 400 or 450 
um, and double our money and then just reinvest it. And who knows, we might even get a second house in the meantime. But that's kind of our plan and that's our plan for the next year. We're excited to you know, start our new life out in Texas and um, just really go hard at it. And we were having a conversation earlier actually about, you know, we have about four months till we move because we're moving it uh, towards the end of March. And um, we've got about four months left and we really need to spend this time preparing. Um, so, what can we do to, you know, to save up this money? Like, how can we start packing? How can we start getting rid of the items we don't need? Like, you know, mm-hmm. truly treat it because we are like we're moving and um, we're definitely thinking that our first step is coming up with another side job or anything that we can do to kind of have more money in our pockets so that way the move is easier. So one of the things that I'm doing, um, which by the way, dear future kids, uh, (laughs) during this recession, it's been very difficult uh, getting a different job right now, uh, just because like you mentioned earlier, a lot of people are getting laid off and people are really holding on to their jobs right now. Um, So I'm still working on the food truck and I've been trying to get creative about some, how can I bring in at least $2,000 a week? Okay, that's, that's my goal right now. Okay. Um, so what I'm gonna start doing is- Sorry, minor technical difficulty. <laughs> we were recording in 4K and then our uh, memory card started. Yeah, you know. we're, we're newbies, we're still learning how to work this. Anyway, so you were talking about how, yes. what's your, so how what, are you gonna make $2,000 The plan a week? is, so that way we can make a little bit more money so we can save up to go and move to Austin, right. is I'm planning to start selling a specialty item on our menu on the food truck, and then that money is gonna be all profits towards our move. Um, so that's one of the plans that I have. My second plan that I haven't told you actually, but I've been thinking about finding a way to a help people because I love helping people I feel like that's what I was put on this planet for and also be artistic and use the skills that I do have right. and I've been thinking about doing tapestries like that's tapestries cool. of people's inner goddess you know to help remind females and males yeah. you know gods of like their inner selves sorry these nuts are crazy um so smart, yeah, so that's one of the things I've been do I've been thinking about doing. It's not that hard. I can do it on um, on our digital uh, what's it called? Your digital uh, fresco. I can do fresco, it on fresco, right. and then I can send it to a company that does tapestries, and um, mm-hmm. basically they'll just give me a cut for as much as I sell. So that's one of my right. plans. That hopefully, or you could just figure out a way well. how to print it, or yeah. or find a company that prints your designs and exactly. then just get it shipped. Exactly. That's a really cool idea because you're great at making tapestries. So. Right. Or you're great and at I making really creative paintings. I really want to help people just remind themselves about their inner selves. And I feel like the great way to do that is with a piece of art that you can like take anywhere with you. If you move, you can fold it, you know, if you want right. to put it in the bathroom, anywhere that like you can always see it and remind yourself of who you truly are deep, deep inside. But really yeah, cool. what are you doing for That's this? Cool. Well, in addition just to the writing and the marketing work I've been doing, I've been trying to, um, I've been teaching myself a lot about trading, uh, specifically like trading stocks, trading options. And I've always kind of done it passively on the side, you know, with a few hundred dollars here and there. Um, but just been really been trying to deposit money into our account, you know, we're working with like around, you know, seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars So not a whole, whole lot of money, but like it's just money that stays in the trading account and it's, um, just sitting there and we're just doing our best to trade it up so i've been learning a lot um just making small trades small options plays had some yeah (laughs) yeah no it's good i've had some successes some losses but a a lot of learning experience it's been fun um so yeah that's kind of my thing i'm doing to hustle and then uh and then i just started teaching myself how to do like car wraps window tinting all that which is the business i plan to start uh once we move um, and then I guess on unrelated or somewhat related note, I did get a, we did get a new car. We got, a, yes. yeah, we got a 2014 uh, Mazda 6. It's a really yes. dope car. Beautiful. And um, that's kind of what I'm using as my experimentation vehicle. So I'm doing so all my wraps. I'll some videos below because it looks awesome. Yeah, we're doing all of our 
window tinting, wrapping, all that. Um, it's kind of just like an ongoing project for me to practice on. And, uh, and one day it'll be my primary marketing vehicle because like once I really hone my skills, it'll look incredible. And then next thing you know, I just pull up at a car show and get jobs. But yeah, that's yeah, our that's plan. Our goal right now. <laughs> we're saving, we're hustling. Fuck a recession, like we got this. We're gonna use this shit to our advantage. Yes, exactly. But uh, but yeah, I just want to share some thoughts with you. It's our Sunday off, so we're being thoughtful. Thank you for tuning in. We really appreciate it. If you have any opinions, we would love to hear them below. And we also really enjoy getting feedback. If you like our content, please consider liking and subscribing. We appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for keeping up with us, and we look forward to sharing more.